What's up friends? Today we're going to compare the Yeti microphone to the Snowball. So stay tuned. Alright, so this just came today right here. This is the Yeti microphone. I ordered it a few days ago on Amazon and often they don't deliver on Saturday, but today they did. And I'm very excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the Yeti to the snowball mic right here this one i've had for probably at least a year and a half and the first place i really saw like a, a vlogger use it was grace Helbig. so this is about fifty dollars so it's not a really huge investment but it's much better than like using your apple um, earbuds with that little microphone that didn't really sound good at all and then the microphone that's in the macbook pro isn't that great either so this was the best alternative for something relatively cheap. The only thing is, when I talk to this, it sounds like I'm, I have my nose plugged and it just, all the different settings that I tried, I could never really get this to sound great. You know, it was good enough to at least, you know, make some videos and it was the best alternative of everything else I had. So I am ready to graduate from this onto the next one. And I, when I first was looking at this, I, I was interested in the Yeti, but the price was a little out of my range. Now I'm ready to step into something a little better. And what's interesting, this has four different settings on it. There's stereo, cardioid, omnidirectional, and bidirectional. So I, I didn't really read the instructions. I just kind of messed with the settings, trying it in my computer. And there is a little gain button right there. There's a mute button on the back as well too and the volume, I, I guess I didn't really mess with the volume too much. I kind of put that in the middle, but from what I did, testing it to see which one works the best, I went with that selection right there, which is the third from the left, and that actually is what they call a cardioid. Yeah, so I, I, if I'm talking like a foot or less away from that, interestingly enough, the cardioid is what they recommend for doing podcasts, voiceovers, vocals, and instruments. Without me even like reading the instructions, I found the best setting for this. And then as far as the gain goes, I put it probably somewhere like in the middle. If you go too far to one side or the other, it distorts the sound in a certain way that just doesn't sound that great. So I just kind of angle it this way, talk into it, and I think it's pretty good. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some voiceovers talking into this, and then you'll see at the bottom of the screen, I will say when I'm, you'll hear me vocally say I'm talking to this one, and down below you'll see it, and then in this one too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find a series of photos that I have of a event that I went to with the Forest River Company several years ago. I have sold utility trailers over the years in modular homes, and the Forest River Company had a huge event in Elkhart, Indiana. So they had like all the things that they build, like pontoon boats, RVs, trailers, modular homes, buses, <laughs> just amazing stuff. So I'm gonna just do a little voiceover explaining some of the different things. And I think we'll see at the end that this is the clear winner. So please, if you have tried either one and you have a comment or question on it, please put that down below and I will be happy to help. All right, so let's get started with the snowball ice first. All right, so this photo was taken in Elkhart, Indiana. This was the Forest River dealer event. Huge tent, free food and drinks, all kinds of people there. Uh, this is one of the items that they sold, modular homes. It was my primary business. It's a park model, uh, high-end portable cargo trailer restroom, his and hers, concession trailer for like carnival food. And then this one was really cool. This is a ice shanty cargo trailer it lowers down onto the ice automatically. So now I'm talking on the Yeti mic and I'm showing you some photos of some enclosed cargo trailers. This is a car hauler. Here's a Vino's trailer for quads, motorcycles, snowmobiles. This is a all aluminum open car hauler. Is a motorcycle trailer made by the Cargo Mate division. This is a six and a half by 12 dump trailer made by Quality Steel Aluminum Products. I've owned this trailer before. It's awesome. I plan on having one in stock to sell soon. So please follow me on Instagram as well as YouTube to find out more when I get one of those. 
And here's my own personal trailer. This is a six and a half by 16 tandem axle aluminum landscape trailer. It works awesome. I'm very happy with it. All right, Brian. So this concludes my video testing the two out. Grayson here uh, has noticed some of the stickers I put on my work wall right here. So if you have some, please send them to me. I start filling in a little bit, but as you can see, I have a lot of room for more stickers. I'm going to the GIE next week in Louisville. It's the Green Industries Expo, and I'm hoping to uh, pick up some stickers to put on my wall here, doing some trading or bring some of my own. So if you see me there, stop me, talk to me. I'll be happy to hand one over to you. So that's it, friends. If you find this video interesting or informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. And then down below, I will have a link to either one. So if you want to help support my channel, it's a Amazon affiliate link that I have, which helps to, uh, which helps me to create more videos. All right, friends. Grayson. All right, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. All right, so if you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. So please click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. And if you want to see what I'm up to throughout the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends.